way <laughs> Friends, you know what's super interesting? Now that winter's here and the air's a little cooler, uh, this saw uh, was asking for, for more fuel on fire up. I, I'm gonna run Pavarotti. Now the last time I ran Pavarotti, I wasn't really happy with the chain. Yeah, there's our, this, this, this bar oil, friends. Uh, I love it. Just, I don't know what you do with your saws and I don't know how you clean your saws, but if you let anything after a hot running run and you leave your oil and your stuff on your power saw and your bar and everything and it oxidizes and does all that stuff where it just sits there and cakes on, that's like eating macaroni and cheese and not pouring freaking water in the bowl in the, in the sink and your mom comes at you and gives you trouble for it. Don't tell me you haven't experienced that one. Um, I'm gonna run Pavarotti. I'm just gonna check the uh, the raker gauges, friends. I'm gonna. It's been a while since I've had her out. Last time I had her out, it wasn't exactly where I wanted it. Just gonna tune up the saw a sec, Bob. Where's my glasses? Hanging off my Buck and Billy Ray suspenders, of course. Right. Okay, let's let's see. Yeah, it'll cut, but it's. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's that was the problem then. So we're gonna go. Mm. Friends, good morning. I want to show this real quickly. Just this little yeah. blurb of Father the raker gauge. Um, you've all seen it, but I will harp on this until the day I'm finished playing around on this planet, and that is get your sharp, get your saw sharp. Okay. I don't care how strong your saw is or who built your saw or, or how much bottom end you got or how much it doesn't that it matters, but it really doesn't. What matters is getting it sharp. So I'm going to show you something really quick here and we'll move on to the second part of this bucking. Uh, you already saw a poverty buck in the last video and I had already done that. This is before that. So let's carry on. I might even be able to get you guys rolling here just. Just like that. Oh, I can't believe it. I did it. Okay. Raker gauges, friends. This is the gauge. Uh, last time I had Pavarotti out, like I told you, it, it wasn't cutting like I wanted it. And now I see why. I'm on the hard setting, friends, which means not a real hungry setting. And they're still peaking up above the high setting. Or the hardwood, pardon me. Oh, yeah, no. This, I can't even believe this. That is actually hilarious to me. I'm always running different. Oh, yeah, totally. This makes a lot of sense now. Holy, look at that. Oh, that's funny. I should almost show you this. Oh, this has been, well, maybe not. Somebody asked me in the comment section, friends, what happens when your teeth are different sizes? And I said, well, that's where the raker gauge comes in handy because it makes you pull the same size chip. See, for instance, this is like way in the air. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. I'll talk. Okay, I got Bob on the camera, friends, and, and I want to show you. See? Hard setting. See that right there? It says hard. Check this out. This is no wonder I wasn't liking the cut of this thing last time. Check this out. Look at that. Look at this raker. It's way up. You can see it. Good job, Bob, with the camera work. It's so high. So I fired Pavarotti up a little while ago, friends, for a cut. And I was like, nope. I put it down right away. I knew something was wrong. You see that? Look at the difference. It's just crazy. So friends, don't worry about your teeth being different sizes. I remember what happened here, actually. I was swapping chain between saws and uh, they're all out. So we're just going to get this cut or squared up, friends, and we're going to go cut a tree down with it. Thanks, Bob. That's great. That's perfect. <clears throat> so that was actually before I cut the tree down and bullseyed it down between the... Remember? So I actually filed that before I cut Pavarotti, but there's ground chain right now. So everything you've seen up to date, friends, is ground chain and, and not fresh ground, just, just a nice ground. There's a couple little foopsky doopskies, but it's a good cut and chain, as you saw. We're gonna swap to the hand file chain, the little, the little scoopily doopily ones. Check it out. Pavarotti. Mm-hmm. 
just, just turn it off. Did you see how I turned it on the side and it picked up fuel again? That's because the, the bulb, the, you know, the filter. So Bobby can actually come in here now. He come up here and right here. Dashboard, right? You throw it on the dashboard and then you, you go to undo it and you're like, like, look at that. Look at, look at that, friends. I literally just put it back together and that's what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven freaking. So let's go here. Let's grab there. Drop that. You can see that that goes like that. So what does this do? Does it go like this? Yeah, of course it does. And we go here and we go here and we create another one. So maybe we just go like this and go like that. Oh, we created two more down there. Oh, there it is. It's done. Okay, now back to the story at hand that I talk, was talking about. Okay. Round file, right? That's what my round files look like when, I, when I'm done with them, like almost done with them. Right? Right? Down to the line. That's, that's where we go. But it, it, friends, if, you're, if your top plate, which is this thing, that line, if it's ragged, it's not sharp. What's this one doing? Is that a dent or just garbage? Let's see. It was just garbage. That's sharp. What's going on here? This, this chain cut actually not bad. Okay. Now here's my ground chain that I've been running on Pavarotti that you just finished watching. This is ground chain. Okay. The camera's a little goofy, but it is what it is. Okay. But this is square. Square file. Right? Right? Not round file. Round file. Round. Get the gullet. Square. Don't get the gullet. If you want to know my program, it's round. Get the gullet. Square. Don't get the gullet. Right? So. Square filing is much different, friends. So she's coming through the wood, not bad. We, we are in a little dirty setting. See, there's a corner. There's a corner gone right there. There you go, see? So really, not really. I, I feel that in the cut, I feel it. Now I could straighten that out right now with a file and, and get rid of that chatter and keep rocking and rolling. Guaranteed I could. <laughs> But you know what? It's cutting so nice and Pavarotti, I, I've never in my entire life experienced a better, um, a better freaking uh, muffler uh, cylinder combination ever in my entire time of running power saws. Pavarotti, which is a big bore, uh, excuse me, big bore Husky. So 375, I guess. Iron Horst. And, uh, with that muffler, that, that freaking rams horn that I designed. It's nuts. Anyways, I'm gonna put on this beat up old chain and cut the rest of that freaking log. I'm putting this thing on, because I'm, I'm saving this, this ground chain, I love it. Save it for falling. All right, friends, we're gonna get in and finish up this little sucker here. Now, I just put that chain on, friends. Remember that, that chain that's got nothing left on it, right? Just so you know, they're, they're, it's this thing, right? That's what we're that's what we're dealing with. Just so you know, and you just saw, you just saw the other one come off. And I'm just gonna go in there and whistle this up because I'm on a hump right here, and I'm just gonna go down and, and get at that. I'm gonna have to choke it. It's cold out, friends.
a new chain out of the box, friends, is safe as they can be, raker height, where it will cut wood and be low in, uh, kickback, as low as it can be. So, friends, this chain I got on here right now is used. It's riding right in there with the ground chain, friends. And the ground chain was, was used as well. But I'm just telling you, you can get a mean freaking chain going with a round file. Especially as you get down to that second part of the chain, friends, cutting. Oh, <laughs> oh, 